about the we are going to discuss about the rigid body and Euler's angle. So first of all, we should know what is rigid body. What the what is the criteria uh, that required to be a rigid body? Okay. First of all, this is any body. Okay. This is any body having the large in which contains large number of particles. The systems. Suppose this is one particles and this is another particle. Okay. And suppose this is the another particle, this is another particle, and if the distance between this is suppose d1 and the distance between uh, these two particles are d2. If if you rotate this particle in any manner, so clockwise or anti-clockwise anti or the clockwise or any direction, if the, this inter-particle distance remains same, okay, then this body is rigid body. So that means which constants applied here? The holonomic constant applied here. The holonomic constant applied. So the, the rigid body, what is the rigid body? What do you understand about the rigid body? So the rigid body is the system of particles. System of particles that subjected to the holonomic constant so that the interparticle distance remains constant. So that so that interparticle interparticle distance remains constant. Distance remains constant. So, I repeat again: the rigid body is any body uh, whose interparticle distance remains constant, and that is subjected to the holonomic constant. So, this is the rigid body. Now, let's. The second topic is our the Euler angle. What is Euler angle? Okay. So, Euler angle. First of all, we have to know that the rigid body has the two types of motion. One is the translation motion and another one is the rotational motion. Okay? So one is the translation motion and another one is the rotational motion. So to specify the any body in the translation motion, in the translatory motion, to specify the any body in the translatory motion, we require the three coordinates. Okay? Three coordinates. That is X and Y and Z. Okay? So, but uh, to specify the uh, any body, to specify the configuration of any body in the rotational motion, we require the three types of uh, coordinates, and that is the that is uh, determined by the Euler's angle. So suppose, so let's about let's talk about this. So total, how much coordinates are required to specify any body? Total six coordinates are the required to uh, specify the con con total configuration of the body. Okay, so what is the Euler's angles? Let this is x, y, and z axis. This is x axis, y axis, and z axis. Okay. So, first we have to. There are the three Euler angle. Okay, three Euler angles. These are the phi and theta, and this is tau. Okay. So there are the three Euler angles, and this is phi will comes when this axis fixed. Okay, this z axis remains fixed. Now, the, these two axes rotated in anti clockwise direction. In which direction? Anti clockwise direction. Okay, so let this x axis come here and, and this y axis comes here. Okay, the, dis the angle between the previous x axis and the new x axis that is termed as j and uh, another the y axis, the new y axis that is termed as what? Eta. Okay. Angle between this x and this is xi is the first Euler angle that is phi. Okay. Angles between this uh, y axis and the newly formed y axis, the eta is the first angle xi. Okay. Now, here uh, and this is the uh, z axis remains constant and uh, this is the and the new the newly formed z axis which is uh, termed is also the tau but which is fixed so that the, the z axis is remains in the same position that that it is pre, that uh, it present in the previous location so so here first of all what we have to do here we have to convert the we have to transform this original and uh, this newly formed axis uh, into the original in terms of original axis how we have to transform this um, newly formed axis into the um, original axis in the form of original axis uh, this is xi and xi eta and this is tau into 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 what in the previous axis x y in terms of previous axis how we can do that let's do this can be done by resolving first of all here we have to resolve this uh, in, uh, resolve this 
this previous axis into the two components one is the towards z this is will uh, this is will this will uh, x cos phi this is x cos phi the x component of z is the x cos phi and the uh, y component of eta is what are the this is the plus y sin phi and the tau component is zero here the tau component zero um, z into zero okay so similarly here the what uh, x component of uh, y component of the tau eta is y sin phi and this is what this is the its component is um, um, it is opposite direction so this uh, we uh, this is x x component is in the opposite direction uh, so x cos phi minus x cos phi but this is the tau is the remains fixed so how we can transfer here the first of all uh, the, the coefficient of the xi is the cos phi and coefficient of uh, uh, eta is sin phi and coefficient of tau is zero okay and here also coefficient of xi uh, is what minus sin phi here the coefficient of xi is this minus uh, cos phi and plus y this is uh, this can be written as y sin phi so the coefficient of uh, coefficient of xi is minus cos phi and coefficient of y is sin phi and this is the coefficient of theta sin phi and this is zero and zero the coefficient of tau is zero zero one so we transform xi uh, eta tau into in terms of x y z so this is the first real single is the phi and here we transform the newly formed axis xi eta tau in into the in terms of x y z so this is the first real singles